our main feature today on EA TV. Two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. We've got a curtain raiser to the new season for you. It is Paris FC against PSG. Yeah, final chance for two managers to try out one or two things before the serious stuff starts. But they'll also be hoping these players are pretty close to being fully fit. For Paris FC. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. Pretty late, the challenge. That, at any time in the match, is a yellow card offence. And he's not going to escape the booking simply because it's this early. No, he dived in. I don't think he or anybody else can have any complaints about that. Here's Angelino. Pablo Sarabia. Here's Fabian. And they've spread it out wide here. Aiming for Neymar. Well, he's cleared the danger. Angelino. Now Fabian. Neymar. Tolisso. Takes the shot off. Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Referee played advantage here. Quick-witted and quick his movement too to intercept there he fancies his chances in getting past these players the break is definitely on are we going to get an upset here well they've given themselves a chance by taking the lead well this could go down as one of the biggest shocks can't believe it well the opposition was caught napping there on that breakaway and he's just gone all the way hasn't he what a fine individual effort. Well, let's take another look at the goal. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Neymar. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up. They're keeping the ball well. There's a lot of promise in that, but in the end, no fruits from their labours. Set up to play on the break now. Sharp in the tackle. It will be a throw now. It's going to be another throw now. Polissa. Neymar. Now Fabian. Well, they couldn't keep possession. They've given it away. Tolisso. Up for grabs here. Chance for a break in numbers. And the forward could be played in. It was a lovely pass. Ball. He's reached it and he's caught it with a save. Brilliant. Tolisso. PSG having most of the ball really have uh, dominated possession. They haven't been themselves, I don't think, when it comes to going forward. And Mbappe! He's gone in with the header. 
But the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. The quality of the cross deserved a better finish, Alan. Well, heading is an art, and it's an art that he's not quite mastered yet, clearly. Hasn't been a capital showing from the team from the capital of France. But there is time on their side, and obviously room for improvement given the quality in their squad. Impressive in possession, passing's good, possibly dangerous. Strong play by Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. They might have played him in here. This might be an opportunity to get level. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Two more minutes to play, that of added time. Tolisso. Neymar. Here's Fabian. It's a very good clearance, and it was needed. That is half-time now, and this curtain raiser, the French Super Cup for the Trophée des Champions. And I think what happens in the second half might, in the end, be the telling part of the game, though there is a, a narrow advantage at the moment. It is such a wet day, and it's been raining through half-time as well. We just have to see how much the pitch can take. Paris Saint-Germain are putting the pressure on as they search for an equalising goal. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. This does look promising. Here's an opportunity, maybe. What an important goal this may well be. They're two ahead now, building a platform for victory. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Let's have another peek at that goal restarting at 2-0 Well, there's going to be a substitution now. Transfer news, and it's come from Manchester United. It's confirmed this deal is done. Well, he doesn't come cheap, about £60 million, but he's the kind of player that can make a difference. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Oh, he could have made more of that, but it's only a goal kick. Two substitutions to come, one from each camp. Tolisso. Test of his control now. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. It's Marquinhos. Neymar. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. That is a decent tackle. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Paris Saint-Germain given the throw. I think there's going to be a change for Paris Saint-Germain. Here's Fabian. Neymar. 
Subs getting ready. Now Fabian. PSG know that the clock is against them. Well, the time for patient short passing has stopped, I think, because route one is the order of the day now as they load the box. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Well, the hands that didn't look so secure look a bit safer now. Yeah, that'll make him feel a little bit better about himself. Here's Fabian. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Here they are, still probing away. Not quite. Not quite the goal that would have made him a hat-trick hero. Well, if he doesn't get his hat-trick, he'll look back on that with a lot of regret. They've had a go, Paris Saint-Germain, in the second half, but it hasn't been enough, and it looks as though it's not going to be enough now. He's won it back, easily. Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. Conte. Well, they are really knocking the ball around well. Yeah, there's always been an option for the player in possession. He's gone too early, he's offside. And here we're going to have a substitution. And it seems as though it's for tactical reasons. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Luca Dina. Neymar. Verratti. Now Bailey. Oh, it's offside. Oh, well, as a striker, you expect to get the benefit there, but he didn't. Blocked off the pass there. It's a terrible place to give the ball away. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Excellent attacking play here. It could open up the opposition now. Final whistle! And the warm feeling of victory, a victory well deserved. Yeah, these players have worked hard, produced some good football out there today, deserved winners. But tough for the losers who gave everything. Wonderful scenes of joy here. And no wonder they're milking the moment. Want to make absolutely the most of this. Well, they're a proper team, aren't they? They stuck together, defended really well in this competition and snatched the goals at the uh, vital time, so fully deserved winners. There they go. They are the champions. Sensational achievement. It certainly has been their day, a very special day indeed.